Sandra Steingraber, and I'm a biologist and distinguished uh, scholar in residence at Ithaca College. On March 18th, uh, 2013, together with 11 local residents, I stood in the driveway of this site, which is owned by the Kansas City-based energy company called Energy, spelled with an I. And it's located on the west bank of this lake behind me. And in so doing, I broke the law, and I'm charged with trespassing. This act of civil disobedience is an act of last resort. Prior to this, I and other community members have taken every legal avenue to raise the serious health, economic, and environmental concerns associated with the energy plant. However, time and time again, we've been thwarted. For example, energy has declared the geological history of the salt caverns to be proprietary business information so that much of the basic science on the structural integrity of the salt caverns is hidden from view. How can we offer informed public comments and raise scientific objection when we are denied this fundamental information? Energy has asked for fast tracking of FERC approval and we fear that authorities are po poised to rubber stamp these applications before the public has a chance to review all the relevant information and the full impacts of these projects have been considered. This act of civil disobedience was also undertaken to bring to attention the fact that this company has been out of compliance with the Clean Water, Air, with the Clean Water Act for every quarter for the last 12 quarters, which is, far, is as far back as the day to go, exceeding its effluent discharge limit. For this behavior, the company has been fined not once but twice to the tune of over $30,000. Effluent discharge means that the company dumps chemicals directly into this lake, which is a source of drinking water for 100,000 people. It is my belief that paying trivial fines does not excuse the crime of salting the lake. And because I have such a high respect for the rule of law, I will not be choosing to pay a fine for my act of trespassing and will instead show responsibility by accepting a jail sentence. My small, nonviolent act of trespass is set against a larger, more violent one, the trespass of hazardous chemicals into the water and the air and thereby into our bodies. This is a form of toxic trespass. Lastly, I desire to bring attention to the rapid build-out of fracking infrastructure in New York. These infrastructure investments make fracking in New York more likely and aid and abet fracking in other states where it is associated with sickness and misery among people and causes devastation to land, water, and air quality. In a time of climate emergency, the transformation of the Finger Lakes into a massive transportation and storage hub for climate destroying fossil fuel gases that have been fracked out of shale in other states is absolutely the wrong form of development. Civil disobedience is a last resort because it represents a failure of our legal system and our laws. If I should end up in jail, I do not want you to write me letters. I want you to write letters to the editor. I want you to write to the governor. I want you to write to Joseph Martin. If you want to send me copies of your published letters to the editor, I will gladly read them in my jail cell. You don't have to send me letters. You should be out there fighting fracking. They just sent us the... Uh, Sandra, she read an extensive statement. Um, <laughs> made a lot of people in the courtroom cry. Um, and they sentenced her to 15 days in prison. Um, he was really taken aback when she pleaded um, that she wasn't going to pay the fine and um, momentarily stopped. He initially said he was going to delay the hearings and she said uh, she didn't want to meet with the district attorney, which is what he told her to do, suggested that she do. She do. And so um, he said, well then, um, you don't want an adjournment? And she said, no, I don't want an adjournment. I want to proceed and uh, plead. And then she pled uh, guilty and then she said she refused to pay the fine. 
as did the previous two uh, defendants also, uh, Michael Deneen and uh, Melissa Chipman. Thank you, Sandra. Go, go out and fight. Write letters to the editor. You yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you.